hope you are doing amazing. I am just coming out here because it is beautiful. I am grounding on the sand. Let me show you. Hopefully you can see my toesies in the sand. And the ocean is just going crazy today. It is crazy wild with its energy. Um, Mother Earth is so incredible. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to stop and say is that it is my little boy's seventh born date. And so I wanted to just say happy born date to you, Isaiah. And the other thing that I wanted to do is just come on. Um, a little while ago I was talking about there's some things that I've been working on. And so I thought I would come back just for an update and let you guys know where my heart's at, some things I've been doing besides going inside and meditating and doing my yoga, my yin yoga, and different things like that, EFT tapping, um, deep full body breathing, and also um, my detoxing. I've been using uh, Dr. Morse's protocols as much as possible with what I have. Right now I just have his tea, like I mentioned in one of my other videos. Um, actually, a, quite a few of my videos I talked about. I had the heal all tea, the stomach tea, and the three lung tea. And so then I have my other herbs to go along with that, the alpha, alpha and the licorice root and some other things. And so anyways, that's what I have been using to help me detox. And um, I've been eating a lot of fruit. And then I do have my avocados or my guacamole that I use um, in between time. And so I feel pretty good about where I'm at and what I'm doing. and. All right, so I stopped a moment because there was a lady with her puppy. I don't know if you can see right there. Um, geez, it's hard to see in this video. And yeah, there's she's got a little puppy. Let me show you. And there's not a lot of ways down to the beach here because the, um, the beach is pretty much just covered with water. So you have to be very careful. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, kind of already told you guys what I've been doing there and then I talked to you and shared about some different resources for moms and dads who have lost their birthrights to these private business associations, these uh, for-profit corporations that are artificial, they're dead entities and that would be child so-called protective services or they go by many different names, all right? so. For those who know about CPS and stuff like that, um, you know, usually it is not a positive encounter or information that you have or what you've seen because there are incentives for taking our little ones. And so I'm here, you know, still moving forward looking for different answers and I'm not going outside of myself, but yet when those doors open, you know, as I'm healing myself, yes, I'm living in this world and so I am using the resources and moving forward to make things happen. And so I included REM private management um, and then I also talked about secretenergy.com and those are places that, you know, I'm just continuing to learn as much as possible and getting some different paperwork together definitely know who we are and our status on different realms so that we're able to work our way out of that. So that's, um, you know, just some things that I think are very important for us and to be connecting and unifying together as one. Um, the other thing that I did not mention is that in my heart, the things like I enjoy that I've been looking for, my uniqueness, I love activity so health has always been something that I've just had a passion for because I was a gymnast from the age of four until like I don't know 18 19 um, years young so now I'm 42 and you know I've just always been very active uh, doing tennis with my kids going trail riding uh, being a soccer coach for my two youngest daughters for a couple years that was so much fun um, and just being able to do those things, uh, you know, 
it's like when I do activities that I enjoy like that, uh, the time just flies by. And so that's why yoga has just come naturally to me as well. Um, just hiking, being out in nature is something I enjoy, but also learning about my health and what type of foods I need to be eating. You know, because as a gymnast, I thought that I was supposed to be eating all this other stuff because I followed the conventional food pyramid and all that stuff. So I've had to unlearn a lot of things and then be able to relearn the truth and, you know, the truth of nature and the study of nature, which is um, not in the conventional medicine. It's naturopathy. Um, it is about the true sciences of nature, which is you see truth all around us. And so this is through experience, through people who are speaking out, telling their stories, sharing what they've done when they've tried all of the paths that you know most of us went down. Because at one time I ate up everything on the plate, but for many many years I've been coming out of this and since everything got torn away from me it really brought me to a place of just having a blank slate and starting over again and so my passion is still in health and activity and so I would love love to become a detox specialist and or a coach of some sort I wish I would have taken some coaching classes when I did my master's of counseling degree and got you know that degree there were some opportunities in order to do like some EFT tapping that's very helpful um, and also then doing different coaching that you can do to help people to motivate and encourage that just it's nice to have credentials for other people to feel like you know what you're doing so that's what that's about just showing that you've done the work and that um, you know, you have the knowledge and experience to be able to share. And so I just wanted to say that's where I am putting out some um, good vibrations, some the thoughts and feelings and emotions that hopefully will attract this back to me um, because I truly believe I'm a healer and that I am here to help people on many levels and health is a backdoor into raising our consciousness and rising up and so that's where I'm at today you guys I didn't want to make this too long but I wanted to share that yes I, I put out some um, also some emails and been trying to connect with some different people to see if there might be a door that could open that would possibly allow me to uh, be trained as a detox specialist um, and if that door doesn't open then I'm gonna keep on looking so uh, anyways, you guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching the ocean. I hope you can hear me because I know it gets really loud with the waves, but it is so, so beautiful. I encourage you to get outside today, do some grounding, get in the sun if the sun is out, and, you know, be silent. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off the phone. I'm going to be silent. I'm going to listen to the waves. I'm going to be just watching for a while. The waves go in and out. And then I'm going to close my eyes and do some meditation, clearing all thought, all emotion, and connecting with all that is, with some people say the higher self, with God, with, you know, who we truly are. So I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Get out there, you guys, and make it happen. Be the change you want to see in the world. Namaste.
fragments that scatter are gathered by eternity. We are the ones we've been waiting for. So let be the change that we wish to see in this world. The time is now to rearrange our choices. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. 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 Namaste here forever. Forever, never. Forever, never. <laughs>